Welcome everyone to another Grammar's to Cut Guide. Today we'll be covering Erlang Shen. What's the drill? Erlang Shen. I thought I'd do something easier today. Because um, I'm in the middle of recording um, a gameplay of um, another game. And I want to do something easy so I can um, get back to recording that. Um, I don't know when that'll be up, because I don't know how long the game is. But... With the fire of courage in our hearts, victory is assured! Alright. Belong <laughs> Shan, the illustrious sage. Minions have spawned. Um, he's a warrior. Um. Which means he has melee, or melee, or however you say it, or attacks. Let's go over his passive. Abilities. Each time the Longshan hits an enemy guard with a base attack, his dog hits as well for 50% of his basic attack power and 1% of the target's max health. The ascent damage only works against gods and minions. Okay, so he does 5%, I mean 1% of the max health, which is 5, and 15% of my basic attack, which is. Five by looks of it, which is a coincidence. Perfect balance. That's um just increase my power a bit. There you go. Eight five. Uh. So each hit does one percent of his health. And um fifteen percent of my basic attack damage. Um this can also be shown in the little left hand corner. It does say nine. Um it should hit for nine. I feel stronger already. Does it hit 15 now? Yeah. Oh. I think it's damage mitigation, which is, yeah. yeah damage mitigation is, is why it's not hitting for the right amount. Um. Um, what was I going to say now? Abilities. One thing to note about his, um, his, um, his little puppy. Um, Celestial Dog. Is its percent on his target's HP, no matter how much HP he has. So let me show you real quick. Let me summon um, summon Neef. Oh, I forgot to do the thing. <laughs> Taking a one-day break from the guide. <laughs> Clearly forgot what I normally do. Reset, no reset. Um, reduced and um, set level to twenty. Just check my OBS's and picking up my voice. Yeah, because I have to reset OBS. Um, I'm trying to fix this stupid story lag render lap that I'm getting. I don't know how to fix it. Um, that's, that's my Perfect problem. Balance. So, if anyone knows anyway how to fix that, please let me know. It's like not, I don't know, it's not render lag, but it's... You won't be able to tell unless you're looking at my screen. Anyway, what was I going to do? Oh yeah. Um, so, if I'm hitting Neef... I'm doing 8 yeah. of her HP. She has 8 all the time. It's not based on current health, it's just maximum HP. No matter how low HP they are. Um, it doesn't... obviously... There's no reason for you to believe otherwise than that, I just thought I'd clear up, just in case. Um, let's go over his one. Spot weakness. Long Chen opens his third eye and analyzes the enemy's weakness and strengths. When that's fade, Long Chen gains additional physical damage on each strike. If the buff effect has ended and the ability is on cooldown, successful base attacks reduce the cooldown on this ability by one second. So, spot weakness. Now it's doing 37. This is physical damage. This isn't. This isn't power. You don't get power. I and mean, this isn't true damage, which means. Your technique is flawed. It can be mitigated. Obviously, with the more protections you have. This is 54. This is 37. Um, the more protections you have, the less damage this will do. Now. 
Let me just turn this off so I can show you something else. See how it's on cooldown right now? Every auto reduces it. AoE autos, class, is a um, multiple cooldown ticks. So let me show you real quick. I'm gonna place on cooldown. If I was to AoE these three melees, see how it took three seconds off? Because it's per auto, auto hit. Now, the dog doesn't affect this at all either, so it's just your basics. Um, that's it really for the one. If it's on cooldown and you hit basics, then um, it goes down. It doesn't go down when you start active. Alright, that's it really. That's the five seconds. It's actually a pretty strong ability, they've nerfed it a lot. Um, anyway, um, mainly because it does scale with power as well, so let's have a look. It's two. Pin. Elongshan launches spear at damage enemies and impact enemies in the dead center of the effect when it lands are rooted in place. So I can show you this real quick. As we fight, I grow stronger. Wait to me. See, outside doesn't root them. Should really reduce my cooldown again. Um, in the middle, you rooted. You can see that little orange, these little four things that go around them. The classes are rooted. They're rooted. Right, another th very important thing about the two. Stay down! No, from how far you throw it. Um, if you throw it here, Stand and fight. it lands quicker. If I was to throw it over here, <gasps> it takes longer. Um, Stay down. That's pretty much instant. It takes like, an, like a one second Stand travel and fight. time. Um, so that's good to know. Um, root, you can root minions with this. It's not just gods. Um, I can share that real quick. Can't root obviously Gold Fury or anything. You can root like I'm pretty sure you can root the um, the camps as well. Um, let me just let's demyth that real quick to make sure I'm right. I'll see the information I give you on to make sure I'm right. Um, yeah, got rooted. Okay, right, as for the free, you've got Mink 72 Transformations, which is a budget version of Wukong, because it's exactly the same as Billy name. Longshan transforms into a Mink and charges forward. Mink damages all enemies, stopping on the first god hit and increasing attack speed 4 seconds. Still knocks up all enemies in path and gains a health shield for 12 seconds. Right. Let's start off with which one's fastest. Turtle is slower than Mink. See, 660. Oh yeah, just let me get my, my Talaria boots for active on. Let me just uh, do that again. 623. 670. Mink is faster, so if you're trying to escape, sometimes it's good to use uh, Mink. It's, the reason why it might be bad to use Mink to escape, even though it's faster, is because it can be body blocked by gods. Um, see, it stops on the first god hit. Um, the Mink also gives attack speed. Seen 1.2 at the bottom left, now it's 1.5. It's going back to 1.2. Um, Turtle, it's your health shield. This is, this isn't percent health shield, this is, um, flat, this is a flat health shield. Um, I believe it all ranks. So if I was to get, if I was to go full power, I feel stronger already. 
See, this isn't a good, this isn't a proper build, by the way. This is just me trying to prove a point. Right, make note of this line, though. Right. That should last for a long time. Right now, I've stuck my transcendence, and it's still the exact same. This doesn't scale with power, so you can go full tank, and this will still be um, two hundred thirty. Um, mink, mink, and um, so it can be cancelled whenever you wish during the time it's casting. Um, one thing, the mink also knocks up. And it's, and you have, the turning on this, um, on the mink and stuff isn't as good as if you are just in your normal god form. You see, I'm trying to turn around, but I couldn't. Um, so make note of that, is that it's kind of hard to turn with, with the, um, you don't get like free range like Pac-Man, where you can just like turn whenever you want. It's got like a thingy. Um, I was gonna say delay, but it's not a delay. I mean, I guess it is. Alright. I'm pretty sure that was five seconds. It doesn't tell you how long it lasts. If we were to um, count together, one, two, three, four, yeah, roughly four or five seconds. Um, um Let's go with the ult. That's pretty much it for the three. Knock sort gives you attack speed. Does damage. Shield stays at flat flat health. Even with a lot of power. Oh yeah, and attack speed scales from 15% to 35%. <clears throat> Long Shen taunts nearby enemies. Nearby enemy guards, <coughs> gaining damage mitigation for the next four seconds. Afterwards, if the Long Shen is still alive, he is healed for a flat amount of Plus 50% of his um, maximum health. You see this number? It says 327, right? That's because that's 15% of my HP. I need to fix this stupid tab button. Tab key. I don't know why it's being like it is. Um, let me just... Right. 327, if I was to reset my level. See, 85. This doesn't scale with power, as you can tell. It doesn't have any orange numbers. Keep on running over the wrong um, things. Um, damage mitigation as well. So uh, this happens for the entire duration. Is that all you've got? Right, so she's doing 50, 50, 50. Just waiting for my ult to be back up again so I can show you the damage mitigation. You'll never defeat me! 42, 42. And if, if you're still alive, you heal for a flat amount plus 15% of your max HP. Um, the total duration is 1.2 seconds. Um, does that scale? Sure, it scales right. No, it's 1.2 flat. Okay, because you see the numbers yellow, and I thought, um, oh, it doesn't matter. Um, so show me your strength. You can turn multiple people, kind of like Athena turn. Um, I don't think you can turn. I think you can turn. I don't think you can turn minions. Is that all you got? No, you can't. It's just got. Right, um, that's it really. Pretty simple. Nothing, nothing too hard to understand. I mean, for, 
I, mean, I think so anyway. Because if you're a new player, it might be harder to understand. And that's completely fine. Um, let's go for combos. Right. I'm just starting to eat this so I can do my build. Perfect balance. After. Uh, combos, right. A lot of people like to root them, catch up, and then knock up, and then instantly cancel it. Like that. Um, you can do this. You'll never um, beat me. And knock them up, and then root them. Obviously, your one stays active for the entire duration. Even even if you've casted another ability, you can still see that I can still use my one. So sometimes it's good to one them blink so it saves you having to cast it. So you can or you you don't have to do that. You could just like blink in and um, or cancel the one like that. Also, the game doesn't tell you, but Erlong Chan's one doesn't reset your um, your chain. It does give you AA cancel. Yeah. But it does not reset your chain. So if I was to use my one here, say I'm just doing normal basic attacks, normal, 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 then I one, uh, yeah. and my AOE swing was the enhanced version of, you know from my one. So it does not reset I go stronger chain. What some people like to do is when they're clearing camps early game because you want to make min max your damage. Where the hell are the camps? Alright buff camps. I'm gonna one shot this, I think. Um, let me just reset my level so I don't one shot the camp. I guess I need to kill it. Yeah, so what people do... Oh yeah, blue doesn't have side minions. I mean, it does have side minions, it doesn't conquest. Anyway, so what people like to do is... They like to use the wall on the AOE swing. Um, so, so it hits all of them, because sometimes, with, with yeah. slow attack speed, um, yeah, sometimes with slow attack speed, um, the chain obviously goes slower, so if you use your, your one on the AoE hit, um, I think it just overall does more damage. Um, and it, you would hit them AoE anyway. Yeah. So I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just a trick people like to use. I guess it's up to you. As we fight, I grow stronger. Um, what else was I saying? Set level to twenty again. I mean, there's only really only a couple of combos with with um with the long chain. It's just. It's and sort of knock up as soon as you knock them up. And root them. Is and that all you all. got? You can do this in any order. You can you can root, knock up, then all, or you can all, all wait for the taunt to be over, then knock up, then root them. There's, that's that's like the only set. There's only like a certain amount of combos. Like there's no like I wouldn't say there's any wrong answer. Show me your strength! I mean, I guess if you don't want them to jump away, you taunt them first, but they could just jump as before the taunt comes out. So sometimes it's best, best to knock them up, then taunt them so they can't, like, jump away. Um, You'll never defeat like me! Stay so down. as they're landing from the knock-up, you can taunt them. So Because obviously when you're knocked up, you have no control over your character. Unless you're Xing Wei. Mm -mm. She can dash out knock ups. Um, builds, um, there's quite a few builds really. Um, you'll mainly see, you'll mainly see, um, Erlang Shen in jungle. Um, 
So I don't know, you could go Bumba's Hammer. You can go Eye of the Jungle if you want. But this does give attack speed, which is actually pretty good, helpful. Um, I guess that's been slept on a bit, isn't it? Your base set deal 20% means plus 20 true damage, and your abilities deal 50% as a strong count, stands in a lot of health. 25 mana, this gives. This is, this is basically. You gain HP 5 and MP 5 when in a camp. Um, if you kill the large monster, a ward is placed. It's up to you, really. I wouldn't say. I want to say is there's any oh no this is absolutely terrible you can go any four of these um, items they game if, if the situation arises if you're in the jungle a lot you can go protect the jungle if you want to be able to see wards you can go um, see out the jungle personally I just like Bumba Sama it pairs well with the long chain because like I say you're cancelling stuff you cancel an abilities lock, my next attack is the attack empowered. Just cancel him, then one second took off my mink form. You know, one, four, oh, then you can one again, then four, oh, you know. Is that all you've got? You can reduce your abilities up to four seconds if you if you time all right. I mean, I can show you that real quick. Um, turn this reduce cooldown. As you know, I have the Umbus hammer if you hit someone. With an aura attack, um, after you've cast an ability, it reduces cooldowns by one second. If I lock them up, not that. Show me your strength. See, it's just, it's good. It's good. Um, let's say I hit him four times with my Umbra's hammer. That's 320 damage. Because it's true damage. Um, it's a lot of damage. Unmitigated guaranteed damage. Um, unless they have like ages up. Then I'd go. Then I'd go. Uh, let's just do this with a level one, right? We could go this, and you can go. You can go tier one crusher if you want. If you. Um, or you could go, I don't know, tier one katana. And I personally would go crusher first because I just prefer it and I'd go an inch tabby because with more attack speed the more ones you can do yeah. the more times your dog will hit and I'd go back into crusher then you could go stone cutting sword you could go berserker's shield if you want to be a bit more tanky and finish up with shoguns I mean, that's a you know a hybridish build um, if you don't want to go hybrid, you could go executioner. Perfect balance. And then chin size. Um, sell boots like normal. You can just sell boots for whatever you need, right? There's a lot of CC, mage eyes cloak. If you need um, a good amount of protections of both, go mantle. If you have, if you have like you and the two other hunters, go shogun's go sorry. So you can clear um, fire giant and stuff quicker. Um, Oh, and that's one thing I forgot to note. You can knock up Long Shen's free. Um, it's not knock up immune. Stay down. I feel stronger already. Um, and now you can finish up with Bumba's Hammer or Bumba's Spear. I'd much prefer Bumba's Hammer. It gives you cooldown on a lot of HP. And the passive is nice. Um, but you are healed as well for five percent of your maximum health. Compared with your all, it's just like you're getting fifteen percent of your maximum health. You'll control. never defeat me. Say if you're low, I can actually just show you this real quick. Let me just take damage real. Oh, for God's sake! I need to reset my cooldowns. Let's have a look. Let's just take a lot of damage here. So 
Say if I ult him. Is that all you got? Uh, Someone was hungry for blood. We're getting a lot of healing. That's obviously if they don't go on heal. They probably will because you're a long shot. Go wing blades. Helps you chase. Um, if you even want, you could go frostbound hammer. Yeah, frostbound. Trying to be tanky early. And stone cutting sword is always good. Um, and chin size. Perfect balance. Um, honestly, there's quite a lot of builds you can do. Um, if you're solo or support, I mean support, you just normally go watches. No, it's not called watches, is it? it used to be called watches gifts. You know, tail and gauntlet. Then go into boots. I'd go ninja tabby, finish gauntlet off, and I'd go. I don't know, berserker shield if I want. If you have if you if they have more physical, you could go. If you have loads of physicals, like if they have three physicals, two magical, I'd go physical protection here. If they have three magicals, two physicals, I'd go shogun's here. This will keep me safe. Either or, then I'd go like berserker shield, and uh, then I'd finish up with stone cutting sword here, and sell boots for like I don't know, mantle. And just go back into a Samuel's Embrace. You know, you're pretty tanky. Obviously, I haven't stacked my uh, gauntlet. You know. 300 of each protections with um, Samuel's Embrace. Obviously, you only get Samuel's Embrace um, increase in protections if you're alone. And um, if you're around allied gods, they're split. So, um. um if you want to be super, super tanky, you could just go this build, you know, I and just go a bunch already. of auras. You know, hard ward. If it depends really what kind of support you are. If you're like a backline peeler, you know, if you, yeah, if you're peeling for your backline, and you do that a lot, just go a bunch of auras and like, and finish it with like a Pridwin and just. Now I'm invincible! Kind of like carry on CC and. The, um, the people who are going on your uh, backline. If you're an aggressive support, go go like a bit of damage as well, so you can actually so you actually um, are a bit of a threat. Um, obviously, with his passive doing percent HP damage, you're good at hitting tanks. Um, I mean, if you're tanky, you're obviously going to do more damage to tanks. I mean, no, that's wrong. What I mean is, if you're tanky, you you can stay in the fight more, and it means you can do more procs of your um uh, of your uh, dog. Um, as for solo lane, what I build, I wouldn't really go blue stone. You could go death toll if you want. Perfect. You could get nerfed though. Um, you could even go this build, like, tier 2 boots, potions, whatever the build is they do nowadays. Back, finish boots, then go into, I don't know, Berserker Shield if you I want to attack speed. Already. Um, you could go Shogun's then, but then th with this build you're lacking HP, so here I'd go like, I don't know, some sort of HP. You could go HP before if you want. Yeah, you have to go berserkers. You can go cooldown if you want. You can even go void shield. Oh, if you're gonna go void shield, I'd go a bit later. You could go early if you want because um, this gives you HP. It gives you decent amount of protections and it scales well late game. I don't know Shogun's Kasari. Then um. I don't know, Frostbound Hammer or Stone I feel sword. stronger already. I'd go Mantle, then uh, I'd go into um, this new OP item. Well, it's not. I don't know if it's OP, but. There you go. Um, uh, animosity. Oh, yeah, your your dog doesn't apply on hit effects. He used to. It doesn't anymore, though. Yeah. Uh. I need 
to. I'm with the big four. How many numbers? You had the animosity, the dog, the one. Show me your strength. Your technique is flawed. Yeah, animosity is decent. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't. Go um, if you're solo lane. I wouldn't go benevolence first. It doesn't really help you in in any way, really. Gives you 50, no, 100 HP, 10 MP5, 7 HP5, and the passive is completely useless because there's no allied gods in solo lane we use. So just 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 ignore it. If you support, you could go it. Um, I mean. You do gain cheap gold per five and XP. But like, <coughs> you're getting a lot of farming so anyway. <coughs> uh, sorry, I just drank something and it went down the wrong way. Perfect balance. Oh, and um, yeah, your dog doesn't do percent damage on. It's, it's doing the basic attack. Does not do percent? If you could do percent damage on Fire John and Gold Fury, that'd be so OP. Yep. So last time combo, I'd do They're running away like Odin. You'll never defeat me. I grow stronger. Or you could activate your one beforehand, so when you're AA cancelling. So, uh... I always get confused where things are. I am learning a little bit by bit, but... Yeah, so you could... One. Is that all you've got? And your autos, you know, that you're doing, are doing the extra damage. That's it really for a long shot. He's not that complicated, he's pretty strong. I wouldn't really... I mean, he's okay solo lane. He's a decent support. I'd prefer to see him in jungle. Um, that's it really. Hope you enjoyed the guide. If you um, want to see a specific god, please let me know in the comments. If you've um, noticed anything I forgot, please let me know. And um, that's it for the guide, um, see you guys soon and please like and subscribe, much appreciated.